My Melbourne was a learning experience for me. A good experience, a different experience because it was not like making a film with an Indian crew in India or um, it was um, firstly constructing a crew with people from Melbourne who were enthusiastic, uh, young Australian. Filmmakers, for good people, they must be even young. They are in the energy, they are actually sorry. It was a good thing. It's very productive. We let's see that in the city of Melbourne, show it itself. Was it was it very different from what we actually do otherwise? Yes, it is because usually I have a story which usually is my story. And then it's a unit that I'm comfortable with. It's people that I have chosen who are professionals. In this case, the people were not professionals. They were uh, people that were training to be or wanted to be filmmakers. Many of them had not worked on films before. Um, so bringing them in added fresh energy to us. Uh, coming to the next question. Chamkina was a success despite the Sanskrit topic. So, the most soon from the architect of such a topic. I could see a clear cut love story in the film, and that love story was between Amar Singh Chamkila and music. It was the love story of an artist and his art. And literally, he gave up his life for it. So I was very moved by the events of his life and I therefore wanted to make a movie on it. Well, I don't think it was controversial because I the the part of his life that I wanted to focus on was not controversial. The love for music was not controversial in his life and my, my focus was that. So I knew that the thing was not controversial. I read about you during theater, you do college. How did theater help you with ending the director of what you are? Oh, theater was really the foundation on which I built my career and my life. I feel that most of the good things that I sit in you know, I learned from theater, many things to do with the, the ease of performance. So, uh, of, of communicating with various departments of how to visualize scenes, how to uh, make people talk and how to uh, help actors. All of that I've learned in theater. How really is it different from making a business? Well, it is not very different in its uh, board because basically movies and theater are ways of telling a story through people. So the handling of people and telling the story through people remains the, the same. The technique of theater is different from that of film, but training is easier to learn than the innate quality of communication. I don't believe that. I don't think I can um, really support that claim. But I would like to say to everybody who wants to come into films and be actor or director to do some theater because that might help. So now coming to a slightly different subject. How good it is to release a movie only on OTT as you did in the last movie? Because some people actually want to see it and change. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know. I think it's a, uh, OTT is an emerging market, especially for uh, Indians. And we will realize after a while what its merits and demerits really are. Yes, it's true that I uh, released uh, Amar Singh Champila directly on uh, the OTT on Netflix. And the experience has been good. I think, um, you know, it's good to do different things and then learn from there and then decide what to do later. So don't you think that the OTT in the life forms are more competitive and I would say it is more difficult to run the movie there? Well, there is so much on an OTT platform and there are so many OTT platforms that yes, it is very difficult for a movie or any content to shine on it. 
so there is competition in that way. But I think competition is everywhere in this world. You have to just be unique in order to be seen. Do you think the Chamkela movie has to just bring out other movies? Sorry? Your last movie was very successful on OTT. So, can the other movies started suffering? <laughs> no, no, no. There are many movies that did very, very well on the OTT, I feel. Um, so, you know, because what the movie business, the good thing about it is that if you have one good movie, you will see one movie. If you have two good movies there, you will see two good movies. And if you have three, you will see three. There is no limit to it. And the same audience can watch more or less movies depending upon how many of them are released in a way. You know? We've seen that all days in the film industry. So, uh, and OTT is a space which is otherwise not competitive in the way that um, if there is one cinema theater in a city, then it can only play one film. Mm -hmm. is, but uh, the OTT doesn't have that problem. Two films can release simultaneously and both be there and both films be seen. Achha, a question, last question. Eh? Um, would you direct a movie which is political? I would no, direct a movie that is political. Yes. But of course, it needs to be sensitive. I, I don't want to be uh, taking sides in that political film. And uh, I definitely want to know the subject matter really, really well before saying it. So, could that subject be in the past? It could be in the past. It could be in the present. Even. Doesn't matter. As long as it's a topic that I feel is not negative mm -hmm. or it's not blasphemous. I don't want to take up an agenda and make a statement, a political statement against any present or past party. I'm also more and more interested in history now. I'm more and more interested in history uh, as I grew up after my college. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make a Raja. I'm not talking about this book. 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 I'm not talking about this book.